Hey guys, I am Forever a Game, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Taylor Family, well, Moon Taylor Family, current household, the current household. If you did not know, I am Forever a Game, and I do these current households. They started in like July of 2020, but I did them all through 2021 and all through 2022 so far. And it's following my family, the Parker family. I started with Cara Parker, and now it's gone to her five children. And we're now with her, with her oldest children and uh, her and Anuki Moon's oldest children, Grace and Summer and Grace's husband, Dylan. Currently, things are not going well. Things are not going well. Um, as you could probably, as I feel like you should know if you've watched the other ones, that Grace, she is the adopted daughter of Cara Parker and Anuki Moon and... Then Summer's, like, their actual, like, biological child. But, like, they're, they're spiritual twins in my eyes. Because I got them the same day. And Grace currently wants to become a superstar athlete. She wants to be, like, a top, like, Olympic gymnast or whatever. Um, as you'll find out through the next few minutes, those dreams may have been shattered. But she is married to this dude named Dylan Taylor. She is a Libra. She likes beach party music, stew, stew surprise, and seafoam. She is charismatic, a workaholic, dramatic, genius, athletic, ambitious. She's currently a rookie, but, you know, she's a gymnast. And she had a degree in physical education, which gave her charismatic. And she ages up in 11 days, but ignore the ages. Ignore the ages. Because I had to play them in university and they aged while in university, they are significantly younger than they should be. They're, like, halfway through, like, young adult and adult. They're, like, halfway. Because the university is only supposed to take, like, four years. It took them, like, ten. Like, if we're, like, really thinking about it. But currently, she is athletic level eight. She has a charisma skill. She has handiness. Um, but yeah, she wants to be an Olympic gymnast. And then here is her husband. Um, this is a new outfit for her. He's just in his outerwear. Um, her husband is, wants to become a superstar athlete. Like, an actual, like a, like a team sport athlete. Like... I don't know, like a baseball player, football player. I don't really care. I think I'll go with baseball. Baseball sounds cuter and less injuries. But he is a Gemini. Love that. He likes country music, goopy carbonara, and lime. He's athletic, a social butterfly, a hopeless romantic, easily impressed, ambitious, and brave. He also has a physical education degree. And he's currently in, like, he's much lower than her in the thing. Because I wanted her to make... I wanted her to be a bit more progressed before we destroy her dreams. But, yeah, he's like a himbo. He's he's our himbo. Um, He currently has seven athletics, seven cooking. He cooks for us. And he has seven in handiness. And, yeah, so they got married. He is the son of Skip Taylor and Tiffany Angles from University. And Anuki Moon, her, their dad was also from University. But Grace... And Dylan then had a child, like, they got married in Suva Diva, and then they had a child, um, this is Summer's new outfit, but they had a child, his name is Tuck Taylor, um, he's very cute, and I had to reroll his genetics a few times so he could look somewhat like both of them. He is a Virgo, he aged up like a day ago. He likes disco music, stew surprise, and Irish green, and he is clumsy and loves the heat. I like that his parents are, like, really athletic, and then he, like, can't stand up straight, basically. Like, he'll trip over his own foot. That's what I'm doing with Tuck. And then we have Summer Moon, who is also, you know, the daughter. She's actually the firstborn daughter, because we adopted Grace after she was born. But I, they were born near the same time. But Summer, Summer's kind of a loser. But, like, she's the... She's the one I relate to the most. I think that's wild. That really says a lot about me. Um, but Summer wants to be a professional author. She is a Pisces. She likes kids music, vegetarian lobster, Thermidor, and lilac. She is friendly, a hopeless romantic, loves the cold, over-emotional, loves to swim. And she is a bookworm because she has a communications degree. She does not have a job. She has no real... <laughs> She has no real goals. I mean, she wants to, like, be a romance author. But, like, currently, um, things are, mm, things aren't going well for her either. As you can see, she was betrayed. But she has level six in charisma, six in cooking, four in athletic, and seven in writing. I think she wrote one book. I think she wrote one book. Um, 
Did she write Beyond the Meadow? Was it Beyond the Meadow? She may have written Beyond the Meadow. Like, when she was younger, it didn't do that great. But, you know, she'll, she'll, we'll get there with Summer. We'll get there. But currently, she was dating Liam Huntley, who is the son of Sid Cerverus and Imelda Huntley from university. Imelda was a coke-addicted model, and Sid Cerverus was their parents' plug in college. So... So she started dating him because they all lived in Meadow Glen. Um, he dated Sally, but then Sally cheated on him with his older brother, Darren. It was a big thing. But her and Liam got together. It was when they moved to Simopolis or whatever. He's a model, too. I don't think he's addicted to drugs like his mother. But, you know, he's still not great. Um, he was at the Suva Diva wedding thing, the wedding crossover. And, um... <clears throat> They got into a fight. Him and Summer got into a fight because Anuki did not want him to date her. Anuki was like, you're not dating the coke-addicted model's son. We're not doing this. And then so he and Summer got into a fight and then he stormed off to like a bar or whatever. And then he met this local, Lena Landis. And they had one night stand, which resulted in a child. But then he went back to Summer the next day and nobody was any the wiser. But... Then Lena showed up on his doorstep, and so they were cohabitating in his apartment for, like, a while. Well, for, like, the past, like, four or five days, because I extended her pregnancy. I just paused it at, like, as much as I needed to. They had their child, but, um, I'm probably going to re-roll its genetics and its name. I think its name is Alan Huntley, but it's not, he will not be named Alan. Like, Liam and Lena, like, no. They would not choose, that's a very, that's a very, like, I don't know, normal name. I feel like they, no. But, so, she discovered that um, during Tuck's birthday, she noticed that her boyfriend, Liam, was not there. But um, his boss was, which she thought was weird. And so she went to go to Liam's apartment and she found Liam and Lena in a romantic embrace. They weren't woohooing, but they, it, they were getting pretty close to it. And so Summer came in and she confronted them and she slapped Liam. I know, you know, domestic violence isn't a good thing, but this isn't real. So she slapped Liam. He deserved it because he cheated on her and made her look like a fool. So she slapped him and then she probably called Lena, I don't know, random. In my mind, because she, I had that, her do that thing where she, where the sim would point at the other one and get really angry. And I was like, in my head, I was like, she called her a random cabana girl and said, you should be happy. You should thank God you're pregnant right now because Summer would have hit her too. Summer would have hit her too. The only thing that stopped Summer was decency to pregnant people. But yeah, so that happened. And during that time, Grace received a call, a phone call that there was a disturbance at their old apartment that they somehow explicably still own. And so she went to go check it out. She said, Dylan, you can stay with Tuck. Um, and things didn't go well for her. But while Grace was gone, Summer came home, was very sad. She was very upset. And so Dylan comforted her because they're friends now. Like, they're really good friends. Um, They, like, I would have him cook dinner and she would, like, sit in the kitchen. I'd have her sit in the kitchen and watch. So it was like they would, in my mind, they spoke to each other while he was, they hung out while he was cooking breakfast. And then she would cook dinner and they do the same thing. They did this for like four or five days straight. I just had them do it. I thought it was cute. So their friendship has built or whatever. And, you know, she was very, she was very emotional during that moment. It was very, it was a very high strung situation. And she and Dylan gave in and they kissed each other. They didn't kiss each other. They made out. They made out on the couch, on the love seat, actually. But they didn't woohoo or whatever because they stopped it because, you know, Grace was... Grace was otherwise occupied, and it kind of makes it even worse with what she was occupied with. But, yeah, so, they were like, okay, no. And then they went to bed, the ne they went to bed, and then Dylan woke up. Grace was still not there. Grace had never returned home in the night. I guess he just fell asleep waiting for her. And, but then he, like, he and Summer agreed that they would never speak of it again. They were just friends. This was a bad choice. And so, they're just friends now. Um, will it evolve into something else? Hood twins. Maybe. Maybe. Excuse me. But maybe. But, um, 
yeah, so Summer was tasked with watching Tuck, and she got to go put him in the high chair, while Dylan went to go to the apartment to find Grace. Well, he found Grace at the apartment. So, the backstory. Grace has been accepted into the gymnast thingy. She's going to, I don't know, Sochi, wherever they go. Wherever they go for the 20 whatever Olympics. Sochi, London, I don't care. Um, and she's had several people who were like her Olympic friends. Bridget Holloway. Her, like, Olympic, I guess, coach is Tiana Batista. Um, you know, Jesse Walsh, Lindy Reed, Alyssa Leone. They're uh, her other, like, gymnast team. And, um, there was one other, but she was cut because she wasn't as good as Grace. But she felt like she was as good as Grace. That was Christina Bradley. Christina Bradley, she's an unwell person. As you can see, she's athletic, ambitious, hot-headed, insane, and dramatic. That did not go well. Um, so Christina, because Grace took our spot on the team, Christina blamed Grace. This has been going on for, like, a week in game. I've had them just... Christina always goes to the sporty events that I'll have them do. But, like, there's this underlying tension. And it just built up and built up and built up until Christina snapped. So Christina is the one that caused the disturbance at the old apartment, causing Grace to have to go to that old apartment. And there, she unleashed her scheme where she ranted, she raved like a crazy person. Grace called her crazy, and then they got into blows. Christina punched her in the face. She, what did she do? I remember, because I had to Google the violence and aggression to make sure she didn't kill Grace. But she punched her. She um, did a head punch. She did a grab head. She did a body stomp. And I think she did a knockout punch. But, you know, Grace, Grace got in a few hits herself. They fought, like, twice. But, like, Grace got in a few hits herself. But it ended with Christina grabbing. I'll show you. I'll show you. Because I set the scene at the apartment. I bought our old apartment again for this. So, in this apartment, they were... It's basically empty, but, like, they were in here. And then Grace ran... And then Christina, like, knocked her out or whatever, or, like, got her back to the ground, grabbed one of these fire poker thingies, and beat her leg in. So, Grace has not had a nice time. This is Grace's lowest point thus far. We may get a little lower, but I don't think it could be worse than for her, her personally. Her relationship, maybe. But, like, her personally, this could... She's never been lower. Which, you know, everybody, every child in this... Every one of the Parker Harmon, Parker Moon Harmon children, they have to suffer. And this is how Grace suffers. And she will suffer for the next 20 years because I think that will be fun and interesting. But yeah, so as you can see, I downloaded several custom content um, makeup things. There's like body bruises. There's like a black eye. She has like a broken nose. It's bad for her. It's bad for her. But yeah. Very sad. But I'm going to give Christina a few too. But I just wanted to record this. But Christina is going to get a few a few little injuries too. Because Grace went down fighting. But yeah. So that was like late in the night. And that was when their conversation was asked. So after Christina bashed Grace's leg in. Thus destroying her Olympic dreams. Because I, Grace is going to be a sports agent after she recovers from this. Because obviously she can't be... I'm going to put her in a wheelchair too. Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. I downloaded, I downloaded like a wheelchair seat. So that's going to happen. Eventually she may regain... She'll probably regain her ability to walk. But currently her one leg... Bad. It's bad. I don't care which leg it is. Probably this one maybe because it's above this one's. And obviously you wouldn't like... You wouldn't like lay your other leg. So her, her left leg... So, Christina bashed it in with a fire poker and then left Grace for dead. Because she was, I mean, she probably hit her in other areas too because Grace has some bloody hands. She has, like, the body bruises. Like, it was rough. It was bad. And so, Christina threw the fire poker down and then ran. She ran because she did not expect Grace to live. So, she ran. She fled. And so, early in the next morning, after Dylan and Summer had another conversation about, like, how, you know, nobody can know, blah, blah, blah. 
he was like, can you watch Tuck? Like, Grace is still not here. And she's like, yeah, sure. Um, go find her. Um, and then so he went to the apartment and he discovered her lying on the floor, beaten and injured and near unconscious. She had been lying there for hours. It was sick. It was sick. I felt really bad. But I had always planned to do, like, the kneecapping or whatever. But, like, I felt really bad when they had to do it. Because I had her run to the other side of the room. I said, not my grace. But, you know, he found her. And then he scooped her up. And then rushed her to... Pretend this says Simopolis Hospital. Um, he rushed her here. Because I wanted the screenshots. And so here she is. This is probably, like the next day or whatever. So he obviously called and told Summer, and so Summer's now watching the child. But yeah, um, things aren't going well for them. It's very unfortunate. But yeah, so Grace is very injured. She'll probably come home today or whatever. And she'll be confined to a wheelchair that I downloaded for like a seat. Um, I, side note, this game came out in 2009. And there, I could not find a disability mod. I could not find a hard drugs mod. I couldn't find a wheelchair mod. I couldn't find anything. I looked for like an hour. I have, the, the hard drugs and the disability mod, it eludes me. There has to be one. There has to be. I know there has to be one. This game came out in 2009. It is 2022. Like there has to be something. Like I wanted Grace to actually be confined to a wheelchair for a bit. Like, I actually wanted Eleanor to do hard drugs. So I have to, like, I have to make some adjustments. But yeah, so Grace's Olympic dreams are ruined. She's recovering, you know, you know, the IV. So yeah, her Olympic dreams are ruined. And eventually she'll have to deal with that. So Grace will never achieve her lifetime wish because she always wanted to be an Olympian. And now she'll be nothing of the sort. She'll have to be a sports agent, which was my big plan. Because I didn't want too sporty. I didn't want too, like, sports people. Like, I wanted something different. And Grace obviously got the more dramatic situation because she's a more important character than Dylan. But, yeah. So, not great, not great. And eventually, she's going to start, I think, like, in a day or two, I'll have her come to the hospital, like, on a regular basis. Obviously, she'll quit her job. But I'll have her come to the hospital on a regular basis. And I'm going to download, not download, I already made him. I made, like, a physical therapist or whatever. He's going to be very attractive. And I think things will get messy. But, like, it will be... It will look mess more messier than it is. Because they'll probably just stay friends. But Dylan will get jealous. And, you know, Summer is still... You know, she's still struggling with, you know... What, like, is love even a thing anymore? Like, cause she, that's Summer. Summer, hopeless romantic. Summer always believes in love. How messy it may be, Summer will always root for love. And, which is why Grant is in the mess that he'll be into. Because she decided to root for love. <laughs> and not tell anybody about the situation with Leona. But, like, so yeah, that's Summer's character. She, like, really roots for love. And so... But, like, now her belief has been tarnished. So, like, what does she have left? What does she have left? This is her whole personality. And so, yeah, I think... Because, you know, it can't be easy to, like, adjust to living with, like, like in a wheelchair. It cannot be that easy if you've grown up being all sporty and shit your whole life. So, I feel like Grace won't be... I'm not going to villainize Grace and be like, she's being so unreasonable. Like, I just want it to be kind of realistic. Like, this is going to be hard for everybody in the household. It's going to be a trial for their marriage. One they may or may not succeed with. Um, but yeah, so I think it's just going to really, it's going to really change the dynamics of this house having to live with Grace's new injury and her new state of life. Which isn't going to be permanent, obviously, because, like, like, a broken leg can be fixed. Like, shattered, broken. She wasn't paralyzed or anything. Like, she just needs to go through extensive physical therapy. And then she also has to deal with the fact that her one life ambition to be an Olympic gymnast will not come true. And so I think that will cause a lot of tension and conflict in the house that may push everybody towards less 
rational choices. Because, you know, Grace will be getting physical therapy, extensive physical therapy, long hour physical therapy from the very attractive physical therapist. And, you know, I think that will kind of bother Dylan, you know, plus with the fact that everybody has to deal, everybody has to like reroute their daily lives because of this, this incident. And it will just be very difficult for them because a lot of change will be happening. And so I think it will be very difficult. And I think Dylan and Summer may grow even closer, which may result in the fabled storyline that I've always had in mind for these two, for these three. And yeah, so I cannot wait for that to unfold. But I think, Jesus. Oh, I like her outfit, though. I gave her this outfit. She wore it to the birthday party. I wanted her to be in something kind of dramatic for, like, the reveal of, like, the cheating and the one-night stand baby. But, yeah, so I think things will get a lot messier, but I think, debatably, this is the worst point of their lives. But I think that might be off for now. Next month? It depends on how far I get with these these two. They may show up again next month. I think they'll show up at least once more before the end of the year for the for the incident that's going to occur somewhat soon. But like, so I think they'll if they're not in October, they'll either be November or December because this it won't be that long in game time before that event happens and I would like to do a current household while that event is in the midst like while we're having to deal with it but next month who should I do next month um is it gonna be Sally again it may be Sally it may be Eleanor it may be Grant who knows who knows but I think that's gonna be all for now and I'll see you guys next month bye